Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with the Motorola Wilder, a compact dust and splash resistant feature phone, which is running the Brio Mobile platform. Overall, we dig the design of the Motorola Wilder. It is thin enough, it's very light, and looks like a Defy on the back with these tapered edges and the Motorola logo here in the middle, but it only has a 2 megapixel camera without a flash. Uh, it's comfortable to cup in your hand, but warms your heart knowing that even if some abrasive particles get into it, they won't damage the internals, and it is not afraid of a few splashes of water either. The only downside to that added protection is this uh, rubber lid here on the left hand side that covers the micro USB and audio ports. It's pretty hard to pry open if you have cut your nails, for example. The 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen is responsive with uh, decent viewing angles but uh, it could be brighter for being outside. The Motorola Wilder also has an extra 0.7 inch monochromatic OLED display at the bottom, which lights up when you press the home button and shows date, signal, time and notifications, as well as the title of the current file you're playing. This one could also be brighter outside. Unlocking the screen reminds us of the new HTC Sense UI. The handset has most of the functions we've come to expect from a modern smartphone, like smart dialing here. And it also features uh, a Java client for installing additional apps if you wish from the phone memory or the memory card. The email app doesn't have automatic settings. You have to enter the servers manually. It shows email in plain text like here. But if it has HTML components, you can open them uh, in the browser to see the email as the sender intended. The browser is pretty basic, net front based, uh, quite slow. So Motorola has provided Opera Mini as an alternative in the app folder. And the main downside we found with uh, the phone is the virtual keyboard. Here in portrait mode, it's fairly usable because the keys are fairly large but uh, the landscape mode, which is supposed to be more comfortable, shows the keys too cramped on the screen. It's just not comfortable to type on this uh, 2.8 inch display on the Motorola Wilder here. There's a dedicated camera button on the Motorola Wilder and even some effects in the camera interface, but the pictures from the 2 megapixel shooter are pretty low quality and the video as well. They're lacking sharpness and detail, so You'll be using it uh, for snapping pictures only when you don't have anything of better quality handy. We already mentioned Opera Mini comes pre-installed, but there are some more here in the apps folder, like uh, a few games, social networking apps, and the SoundHound application for song recognition. From the others worth mentioning is the active mode, which calls for six big fat icons for easy access when you're on the go of your most used apps like the music player for example, which here also comes with uh, big icons. And as you can see in the OLED ticker here, you can see the file currently played, also when you flock the screen. The default music player interface is more minimalistic and the music player has a bunch of settings. For example, you have not less than 16 equalizer presets and the loudspeaker is also pretty strong and clear, except on the highest volume when the sound gets a bit distorted. To recap, we'd say that the Motorola Wilder carries the price of a disposable handset, but the dust and splash resistant chassis and the extra OLED display are differentiating it from the crowded world of basic feature phones. The downsides are very low quality photos and video, a below average microphone and a cramped virtual keyboard. It is priced about $50 from the cheapest Android, so if you want to spare the cash, it can also make a great backup phone or one to give to your kids for it can sustain some damage. If you spend a bit extra, you can get a feature phone with uh, a more appealing design like the HTC Smart or a basic Android handset like the Samsung uh, Galaxy Mini or LG Optimus MEP350 or with capacitive touchscreens. This was a video review of the Motorola Wilder from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.